Hollywood Squares is another Wii title to try and cash in on a popular TV show. And since I love reviewing game show games, I wanted to really try this one out because it's no secret that I loved The Price is Right for the Wii. In fact, it was my number six pick on my 2008 list of my top 10 games that I've reviewed. Now, since I've been looking for another game show title that would be just as fun as The Price is Right, I saw this one and I thought I would pick it up. But unfortunately, I think I need to keep looking, because Hollywood Squares is not a good game. If you don't know how Hollywood Squares is supposed to work, or at least how it's supposed to work, there are nine celebrities and nine boxes. You have to get three in a row across, diagonally, or vertically. If you can't do that, you'll have to get five out of the nine squares to win the round. Think of it this way, you're basically playing tic-tac-toe. Now the host will ask the celebrities a question, and they have to give him an answer. Well, usually they tell a lame joke first. Then they give what they think is the answer. It's the contestant's job to agree or disagree with the celebrity's answer. Win two games out of three, and you go on to the bonus round. But more on that later. There are five celebrities in the game, one of them being the host of the show, Tom Bergeron. It was nice to see the publishers get him to reprise his role from the TV series, seeing how he is kind of busy right now with Dancing with the Stars and America's Funniest Home Videos. The other celebrities are Kathy Griffin, Martin Mull, Brad Garrett, and Jeffrey Tambar. In the single player game, it plays out like the show would, where one special celebrity would take over the center square for the week. And in order to get to another celebrity, you would need to win every day in that week. It's at this point I would like to remind the publishers that the game is called Hollywood Squares. Do you see that S at the end of squares? That means that there should be more than one celebrity in the round. In fact, there should be nine of them. In total, there are only a handful of celebrities in the whole game. And the question I have to ask is, why? This show has been on for years. They could have pulled old clips from the 80s version or the 90s version. And why only have one celebrity per round? Why not have every space have clips from different celebrities? It would have made the game way more fun to play. You see, the reason people enjoy the show is for the lame jokes the celebrities make. When you take those out, you just get a lame trivia game. While we're on the subject of the lame jokes that they tell, I remember the show being way more funny. I wonder if it's these current batch of celebrities, or should I say the writers that are feeding them the jokes, that it's just not funny. Although you wouldn't know it from the way the audience, the host, and the other celebrities that are laughing at these sometimes truly awful jokes. I do have a theory though. I think everyone from the celebrities all the way down to the audience members and maybe even the cameramen are all completely drunk and that's why everyone's laughing all the time. Unfortunately, you only get one celebrity per round and the person is always in the center square. The rest of the celebrities are just computer players. So no jokes, just straight out questions. It makes the game incredibly dull and very fast. Plus for some reason, you always go first. The computer will never go first. And this gives a huge advantage to you since you'll basically be controlling the board because you'll obviously pick the center square. In the real game, they don't let the same person keep going first. Why do they allow it in this game? Also, if for some reason you don't pick the center square, the computer player won't pick it either. I tried multiple times to see what the computer player would pick, and it kept picking anything but the center square. It was just strange. Now, you can beat a round in about two minutes if you get really lucky. Five minutes at the worst. If you win two rounds, you go to the bonus round. In that round, you have 90 seconds to answer one question from each celebrity. Then, depending on how many you get right, they'll take away the wrong keys on a board. After you answer all the questions, you pick a key to unlock a suitcase. If you open it up, you'll unlock a new outfit for your avatar. By the way, what is this supposed to be anyways? With the X's and the O's and the weird things, why not just show us a picture of the clothes that we're unlocking? The outfits are the only extras in the game, which is really disappointing. In The Price is Right, if you got certain scores in the single player game, you would get funny clips from the show. Why couldn't they do something like that for this game? Why must the publishers do the laziest translation of this show I've ever seen? It really feels like the publishers put the least amount of effort into making the game as possible. There is a two-player mode that was only slightly more fun than the single-player game, only because they randomly give you a celebrity instead of making you wait to play some of the later locked celebrities. Hollywood Squares for the Wii is a very, very lazy version of the game. It's so bland and boring, I hardly even see the real TV show that they're trying to replicate. The only good thing I saw about the gameplay was that it was very quick, and you'll beat the single-player game in about two hours. There just isn't anything in this title worth your money, so I think you should skip it.